Hi, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. Today, we are going to talk about Google Classroom. This is the first video of the three-part video series that is intended for beginners in Google Classroom and for those who want to review its features. Together, we will navigate the Google Classroom environment. This lesson will specifically discuss how to do the following tasks. How to log in, explore the Google Classroom screen, how to create a class, explore the screen of a created class, how to add students, how to add a fellow teacher, and how to post an announcement. Now let's talk about how to log in. Go to classroom.google.com. Enter your email address and password. Now let's explore the Google Classroom screen. On the left side, click the menu, then options will appear that includes classes, calendar, and settings. When classes is clicked, this shows the created and joined classes. Calendar shows a calendar for a week. When settings is clicked, this allows you to change your profile picture, password and security options, and access other Google services. It also allows you to configure when you can receive email notifications. If enabled, you will be notified when someone comments on your posts, comments that mention you, private comments on work. Additional sections will appear as you add or join classes. Now let's go back to the menu and select classes. At the center is where you can find your created classes and joined classes. On the right side, you can see create or join a class icon. You can also see Google Apps Launcher represented by nine dots. Profile picture that allows you to manage your Google account add another account, and sign out. Now, how to create a class in Google Classroom? Click the Create or Join Class icon. Select Create Class. Note that if you are using Google Classroom at a school with students, your school must sign up for a free G Suite for Education account before you can use Classroom. G Suite for Education lets schools decide which Google services their students can use, and provides additional privacy and security protections that are important in a school setting. Students cannot use Google Classroom at a school with personal accounts. You may visit this link to sign up for G Suite for Education for your school. If not, confirm that you are not using Google Classroom at a school with students and click Continue. Here, you can enter the following class details. Class name, this is a required field. Our convention at our school is to start with a school year, followed by the semester, subject code, and section. Section, subject, and room are optional fields. Then let's click Create. Now, this is the created class in our Google Classroom. Let me share the Google Classroom I created and used last semester at the school that is registered in G Suite for Education so we will see how it appears in an actual scenario. So, this is how it looks like. On the left side, you will see the menu that includes classes. This shows the created and joined classes. Calendar, this shows a calendar for a week. Teaching section, this shows the created classes that includes to do. Here you'll find the unreviewed work from classes you teach and the reviewed work. In the teaching section, you can also see the created classes. Aside from the teaching section, you can also see the enrolled section. 
Here, you can see to do. You'll find work to do from classes you are enrolled in and the completed work. Moving on, you can also see in the menu the archived classes. This shows archived classes. This is also where you can delete classes. Settings can also be found in the menu. As you can see, aside from the setting for comments, additional settings appeared already, like notification email for work and other posts from teachers, returned work and grades from your teachers, invitations to join classes as a student, due date reminders for your work, under classes you are enrolled in. Under classes you teach, you will be notified whenever there is late submissions of student work, resubmissions of student work, invitations to co-teach classes, and scheduled post published or failed. You can also turn email and mobile notifications on or off for a class. Just by going to the class notifications and changing the setting. Now let's go back to the newly created class. By default, at the middle of the screen is the stream page. This page is like the social media news feed equivalent of Google Classroom. Other pages on the screen are classwork, people, and grades. We are going to talk about the remaining pages in the next videos. Now let's go back to the stream. In the stream page, you can post announcements, reuse announcements from any class you teach, and communicate with your class. Students can comment on the post too. Stream page has the following parts. Banner. The banner has the subject name, the class code, for G Suite for Education, you can find Meet Link. You can also select Theme that changes the banner to predefined designs. You may also upload photo. In addition, you can see upcoming box. This is where you can see the due dates. You can find the area to write posts or announcements to students. On the right side is the class settings. When click, it has class details group. This is where you can edit class details. general group. This is where you can find the class code. You can set students can post and comment. Students can only comment. Only teachers can post or comment. You can also set how classwork on the stream appears. You can set it to show attachments and details, show condensed notifications, and hide notifications. You can also show deleted items. Note that deleted items can only be viewed by teachers. If your Google Classroom is registered for G Suite for Education, you can also see here the Meet code, which can be made visible to students. At the bottom, you can see Grading Group. Today, let us skip this first. We'll go back here when we talk about the Grades page. Let me show the Google Class I created and used last semester so we can see how it appears in the actual scenario. If you already posted announcements like this, on the right side, you will see a three-dot icon to show other options like 
move to top, edit, delete, and copy link. Now, how do we add students? To add the students in the Google class, give them the code to join. So for this example, we can find the code here. Another way is to use the People tab. You can click the Invite Students icon, then type name or email address. Then click Invite. How do we add a fellow teacher? Click the Invite Teachers icon, then type name or email address. Remember that teachers you add can do everything you can except delete the class. Let's go back to the stream page. Now, how do we post an announcement? Write what you want to share to the class here. If you have more than one class, you can select which classes you like to see your posts. You can also select individual students to receive your announcements. You can add attachments like files from Google Drive. You can put link. You can upload file from your computer. And you can add link of YouTube video. You can choose when to share this post with your class. You can post the work to students right away. Pick a date your post will appear and save a draft and finish later. For example, we would like to post the announcement so that the students can view it right away. And if you want to edit or delete the announcement, you can just simply click the three dot icon. Please watch the part two of our Google Classroom video series. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.